Today, I'm going to introduce the implementation of autocomplete using try. The question is, implement autocomplete using try. When searching a maze, A-M-A-Z, it should return words that start with a maze, such as Amazon, Amazon Prime, Amazing. A try is a tree data structure that is used to store strings or words. Each node stores one character. The root is associated with the empty string. The node has references to the child nodes. When adding a word to the try, we start from the top. For example, to store the Amazon in the try, we create a try node and put A there, then create its child node and put M, and so on until the end. If we want to store another word amazing in this try, we still start from the top. We find A, M, a and Z have been created. Then from the character Z, we create a child node I and continue. In this way, we can add other words to the try. For example, we add Amazon Prime, Alibaba, and eBay. For the last node at the end, we use a square box to represent. All the descendants of a node have a common prefix of the string associated with the node. For example, the word Amazon and Amazing share the same prefix, Amaze. To implement, first we need to define the try node class. The try node is similar to tree node. It has variables to hold data and the references to its children. The data type of the data it stores is a char. The char can be alphabets, A to Z, or other characters such as space or dollar sign. There's a Boolean variable is end. It is to tell whether this node is the end of the word. Also like tree, the implementation of a try should include methods such as insert, search, remove, and traversal. Here I will focus on the function autocomplete. The input is a string prefix, for example a maze. The function should return the list of strings such as Amazon or Amazing which are stored in the try. The autocomplete has two steps. The first step is to find the last node of the prefix. The second step is to find all the words associated with this node. Now let's look at the code. First, we define a try node. It has three variables. One is the data to store a character in this node. The children is the data structure to hold all the links to the nodes that are following itself. This data structure can be implemented with array, linked list, and a map. In this tutorial, I use map. Go to my website, you can find all implementation using array, linked list, and a map. In the try class, first is the constructor of the class. It initializes the root node, which has empty character. The insert method is to add a word in the try. This is the autocomplete method. We start a runner at the root. The for loop moves the pointer to the last node of the prefix sequence. Then it calls a helper method to find the branches starting from this node. The helper method is a pre-order traversal of an error tree. It checks whether the node is the end of the word. If it is, it adds the word to the output list. Otherwise, it calls it itself to go through all the children nodes. In the main function, we add a list of words in the try. They are Amazon, Amazon Prime, Amazing, Amazing Spider-Man, Amazed, and Apple. When the prefix is Amaze, it returns Amazon, Amazon Prime, Amazing, Amazing Spider-Man, and Amazed. Now we change prefix to A-M-A-Z-O. It returns Amazon and Amazon Prime. When changing prefix, to A-M-A-Z-I, it returns Amazing and Amazing Spider-Man. If we only use character A as prefix, it returns all words starting with A. The time complexity is all N. N is the number of nodes involved, including prefix and the branches. The space complexity is all N. That's it for autocomplete with try. Please leave your comments below. I'm Vivian. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. I will see you soon.